I think that's what my blood is, but I'm the odd one out because I'm like more into software. So <laughs> yeah, but oh, wow, wow, and 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 of course your journey is still continuing. So we see where that yeah. goes when 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 quantum becomes uh, realized. Uh, you know, I was speaking to someone the other day who was talking about the the impact of say quantum computing in the world of cybersecurity and how you know, quantum computers are going to be able to like break into accounts in the, in a matter of seconds. Um, and 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 for me, with that entrepreneurial brain, I'm thinking, what what an opportunity if you're someone that's going to be going out there building a, a cybersecurity company to kind of answer these questions. Um, but the but paradox the with that, right? Yeah, the paradox with that, though, is uh, so if you solve it, like breaking into something with it, then that will also counteract itself of like creating better security measures that can't break. So you, yeah. you get into the stalemate with the two. Uh, same thing with uh, like the theory behind like stock market. Like if one person has like the key to the stock market and can do those advanced uh, calculations and actually know exactly what the outcome is, then everyone has it. Then the stock market is utterly useless.